Sunday Smoke Signal here with the Cigar Lab. Of course, it is Sunday, April 19th. And in today's uh, Smoke Signal, we're going to highlight a villager cigar called the La Flor de Inclan, the Flower of Inclan. And uh, the uh, originator of Villager Cigars, Heinrich Villager, had this to say about making a good cigar. And I think it's a good way to start off our, our morning show here. Making a cigar is a precise craft. Composing its flavor is an art. Both craft and artistry are our tradition since 1888. The Villager Cigar Company has been involved in the tobacco business since 1888. And it still uh, remains its headquarters in Switzerland has a North American operation in Miami, and it manufactures most of their cigars in the Dominican Republic. And according to their website, sells 1.5 billion cigars annually. All right, so let's talk about our cigar today. Like I said, it's the Villager La Flor de Inclan cigar, and um, it's a mouthful to say, it's got a mouthful of flavor. You can see it's wrapped. It's an Ecuadorian leaf, sort of a rosado color, light brown. And the binder is uh, a rare, true Indonesian tobacco used as a binder. And then it's filled with some choice Nicaraguan and Dominican tobaccos. This specific cigar was first released back around 2007 and Heinrich Villager did not really like the uh, the blend the way it turned out so he's put it on and put it on the shelf did not uh, release the cigar again until 2017 and during that 10-year hiatus he was able to uh, tinker with the blend a little bit let some of those tobaccos age five to seven more years and he re-released it in 2017 with a lot of success actually um, receiving a number 10 ranking by cigar aficionado in that uh, year of 2017. So let's start start off by talking about the construction of this cigar. It's about as smooth as the wrappers you're going to get. Very nice construction. That colors are offset nicely by the blue and black. There. And you can tell that this cigar was exact, indeed crafted by experienced blenders and some uh, skilled rollers. Next, we need to talk about the, uh, the burn and the draw. Well, I did the pre-light draw, no problems whatsoever. It was not uh, too loose or too, too tightly compact. Got a real nice, uh, easy draw. I've already lit, lit it up. Sometimes I like to do that uh, cut and light as part of the show, not, not today. But it's already receiving a nice razor sharp burn. Like I said, the draw. Sometimes you get a little bit too loose of a draw or too tight of a draw. This one is just about perfect. So with the burn and the draw, you've got something uh, as good as a cigar can be, I believe. Now the flavors, got a nice mix of flavors. You're going to get some creamy coffee. little bit of cedar and then the other flavors are going to come in I, I can taste a little bit of cinnamon and some dried dried red fruit like some dried cherry so it's um got some interesting flavors it's very smoothly blended gives you a nice uh, pop, puff of smoke there I wouldn't consider it full body but it's definitely maybe on the higher end of the medium body cigar not heavy on the palate at all actually very pleasing to get a lot of those flavors, you get a little bit of pepper, but uh, that's not coming in very strong at all. You more of the uh, the uh, stronger flavors are more like the cedar, cinnamon, coffee, those type of things. So we've got the burn, the draw, now the flavor in the body, and uh, actually three things we've talked about: construction, burn and draw, flavor and body. Now the value: this cigar is a robusto size. Typically at retail, you're going to get that about $10 to $12. 
Sometimes that's out of uh, a lot of smokers' price range. It's maybe reserved for a more special occasion cigar. If you become an experienced cigar smoker, you find a way to get some cigars at uh, a more economical rate. Shopping around, I, I've talked a lot about some uh, internet retailers that uh, offer five-pack frenzies or things like that. I was able to get this stick at just over $5, which makes it a great bargain. Would I pay $10 a stick? Possibly if I was sitting down in a lounge and wanted to enjoy a, a quality smoke with some friends. But typically this is not an everyday, that's not in my everyday price range for smoking a cigar. $5 is more uh, where I like to stay, 5 to $8. You all have your own budget that you can uh, work with. But everyone likes to find a way they don't have to spend any more than they have to. So shop around. Again, if you're at the... Uh, lounge go ahead and pay that 10 bucks but if you could look around great deal at about five five and change a stick so there we have the uh, villager la flor de inclan on our sunday morning smoke signal this is the cigar lab if you're watching this you're probably watching it on youtube but we also have a blog the cigar lab.net we have a facebook page we have a Pinterest uh, page, we have Instagram, and we also have Twitter. You can follow us a variety of ways, but uh, we'd like to get some more viewers here in our YouTube channel. But wherever you're watching this, please join our blog, join our, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we need to get some feedback as to what you, you think about the, the scars we talk about, and uh, maybe the lounges we review, and also... Uh, Give me some questions. If there's, if there's some things you want to ask or talk about, let me know. Beautiful Sunday morning right now. It's a little cool. It's about uh, climbing into the 40s, but the sun is out shining on me right now. And we're going to have a great day today. So we're going to sign off. And as I say sign off, my real cigar lab, my chocolate lab joy just came up on the report she joins me every morning for my morning cigar so we're going to sign off today from the cigar lab i hope to hear from you soon don't forget to try <coughs> one of these great villager cigars